Sox and Yankees. First of three from Fenway Park. They may have to dodge some raindrops tonight. Sox come into this one 35 and 34. Good for third place currently in the AL East. Meanwhile, the New York Yankees are 49 and 22 and have the best record in all of baseball. Alex Verdugo is going to be making his return to Boston. He'll be in right field for the Yankees and batting cleanup. How do you think you'll be received tonight? <laughs> like a Yankee. It'll be Brian Bayo on the mound for the Sox opposite. Luis Heel is 6-3 and three with a 4.78 ERA. So definitely looking for a little bit more out of Brian Bayo as it appears that Tanner Houck is really kind of just – Taking the ball and run with it this year. He has been the ace. He has been the guy you want on the mound. Still high expectations for Brian Bayo. Still really young. Not writing the book on Bayo, but this would be a, a big start for him. Sox are a game above 500. Can they stay there? And going up against the best team in baseball and a great pitcher on the opposing side. Anthony Volpe's a little snag. Three of his last 27, but he's at 272. Here's the 0 2. And he waves at a slider and doesn't get it. Strike three. That pitch was about nine inches outside. Won't be chased. So there is the first strikeout of the game. Now Juan Soto. Red Sox looking at Soto for the first time in Yankee pinstripes. Sky the other way. Long run for Duran. And he's going to have to play that one off the wall. And Soto has himself a double. Boy, you get the sense, David, he could play beautiful music off the Green Monster. So he's at second for Aaron Judge. Judge had his 37-game on base streak snapped yesterday. Here's the 1-2 pitch. And he takes strike three over the inside corner. He couldn't pull the trigger. Hard sinker down and in. I don't think he agreed with Tony Randazzo's call. But he's out, and here comes Verdugo. Now listen to the reception for Doogie. Not really all that positive. He's batting a 259 with eight homers, 37 driven in. Fly ball in deep center. Going back, Rafaela on the track. He's turning. See ya! Over the big wall in center field. A two-run shot, and the Yankees lead 2-0. Verdugo bangs his chest as he rounds third. Dead center field. Two-run homer, and the Yankees have a 2-0 lead. It's a way to make the booze louder. There is enjoying a home run trot, and then there's that. Stanton off first. Here's Anthony Rizzo, who got going those last two games in Kansas City. That one is squibbed the other way. It's a fair ball just inside the line. Stanton's going to go for third. He'll make it. The throw to second, and now they've got Rizzo hung up. The throw home, and everybody's safe. Why would Smith throw home when it was Stanton at third base? He pulled a rock, and that allowed Rizzo to get the second. Exactly right. Another look here. They've got Rizzo just hung out, and Smith, for some reason, just wheels and deals without even looking. Yankees still going second and third, two down. Glaber Torres swings and flies it. Right center field. O'Neal, the right fielder, cuts towards right center. Calls with the right hand, makes a lefty catch. That ends the inning. But the story of this inning, Alex Verdugo returned to Boston. Two-run blast at dead center. Two runs, three hits, two left. Two-nothing Yanks into the home half. Luis Heel has an argument to be made to be the starter in the All-Star game, to win the Cy Young and all that. The 26-year-old is 8-1 and one with a 2.04 ERA on the season. ERA is the fifth best in the majors. He has the fourth best whip in the majors. And he's also tied for 12th with strikeout. Duran, Jaron at 272, five homers. He's driven in 30. Heels 2-2. Swing and a miss, strike three. Overpowered him 100 wow. on the inside quarter. Well, Hamilton has stepped up, hitting 292. He has 14 stolen bases. Driven down the right field line, hooking. Verdugo, the right fielder, into that corner near Pesky's pole, makes the catch about a step in front of the 302 sign in straightaway right, two away. So two quick outs. O'Neill tallied a tremendous three-run homer last night. He's 12th. He's driven in 22, batting at 256. O'Neill pops it up, straight up, behind the plate. Catcher Trevino races up the third baseline, called off at the third baseman Cabrera, who backpedals a couple of steps, makes the catch, and Luis Heel has a 1-2-3 first inning at Fenway. Two to the Yanks, into the fourth. Again, Bayo, who gave up the homer in the first inning, finds himself in hot water here in the fourth. So now the Yankees have real action. Two on with nobody out for Glaber Torres. Bounder to the side, and Rafi will go to second one on to first. The skip got him. Red Sox turn a nifty double play. Don Smith with a really fine effort over there at first. That was beautifully done, especially by Devers. Kind of a high chopper. Rafi beautifully picked it off the dirt. Good feed to Valdez, whose throw was wide of the bag and low, but Dom Smith bailed him out. Five, four, three, two away. 
Here's Oswaldo Cabrera with Stanton over at third. Ground ball to Dominic Smith. Flips to Bayo. And he dropped it. Bayo dropped the toss. A run will score. Cabrera will reach. And it's 3 0 Yanks. And the defense kills the Red Sox again. It was a perfect feed. It just hit off the tip of his glove by around the webbing. A frustrating moment for Bayo. He just closed the glove too soon. Bottom four next 3 0 Yankees. First and third with one down for N. Manuel Valdez. After he'll walk the first two hitters of the inning. It just feels essential to get one in here. And driven into center field. Judge racing back on the track. It's over his head. It's off the wall. The run is in. Here comes one down to third. Stop in there. Scampering into second. Valdez with a long double. And the Red Sox are on the scoreboard. How good has Valdez been? He just obliterated that ball to straightaway center. And they got to take advantage even more of Heel right here. He is vulnerable. Second and third, still only one out the pitch to Dom Smith. Wave and a miss, strike three. 99 upstairs, and Heel just says, I'll challenge you to Dominic Smith, two down. And here is Rafaela, who singled his first time. Don't want to waste this huge chance. Swing and a miss, strike three. Trevino pumps his fist and heel with two consecutive punch outs, avoids further trouble. Valdez the RBI double, one run, one hit, two left. 3 1 Yanks into the fifth. The runners at first and third, and here is Verdugo. Verdugo is the second player ever to have 2,000 plus plate appearances with the Red Sox, then Homer in his first plate appearances back at Fenway after leaving. The only other one, Alice Burks on April 16th of 1993 when he came back with the White Sox. Fly ball, left field, Duran back, leaps, and he can't make the play, it's off the wall. Volpe scores, Judge is rounding third, they're going to hold him there. It's an RBI double for Verdugo, and the Yankees lead 4-1, to one. welcome back. Alex Verdugo, have a night, RBI double, three runs batted in, and it's return to Fenway, and it's 4-1 Yankees. Well, the infield in now for Stanton, that's really dangerous. He leads baseball in exit velocity. Although he does strike out a lot. One two pitch coming with the infield in and he swings and misses. He got him on a slider away. And Stanton fans for Bayo's fifth punch out two away. That'll do it for the young right hander. They will bring in Boozer to face Rizzo second and third two outs. Yankees lead by three. Here's lefty Cam Boozer got his first major league save Sunday in here now to face a tough left hand hitter in Rizzo who flared a single down the left field line that hit the chalk and then walked. And runners in second and third two down four. 4-1 Yankees. Nice hit there by Rizzo as he rips one into right field. One run will score. Verdugo stops at third. Rizzo with a big hit against the lefty and an RBI and the Yankees lead 5-1. Lefty on lefty. Never gives an inch. Beats him to the pass. Picks up an RBI knock. The Yankees add two more. Two runs, three hits, two left. 5-1 Yanks into the bottom of the fifth. Two on, two out for the Red Sox in the bottom of the fifth. So they're going to give Heal one more hitter at 99 pitches. So runners at first and second with two down. Red Sox have already left five. Yoshida bounced out 4-3 and then drew a walk. It hard on the ground a second right at Torres. Two and he gloves it, flips to first. That ends the inning. Heel out of trouble and heel grinds through five tonight. Bangs his chest with the right hand and the Yankees a 5-1 lead through five in Boston. 5-1 Yanks into the ninth. One down looks like Tonkin's going to get the ninth to try to finish. Trevino it was 0 for 3 tonight. High drive, left field. Duran turns, looks, see ya, into the monster seats. A solo shot for Trevino, 6-1 Yanks. 392 feet in the second row, the monster seats went out at 101 miles an hour. Soto, another multi-time on base night. Soto did that every game in Kansas City, does it tonight. Feels like every game this year he's on two times. Judge 0 for 3 with a walk and a run scored. He's also a fan twice. As Judge hits one deep to left field, Duran back. Turning, looking, he's going to play it off the wall. Soto rounds third, he's coming home. Judge at second with an RBI double, and the Yankees lead 7-1. RBI number 63 for Judge. We talked about the six strikeouts in a row, four last night. He doesn't think he got that one, but this is Fenway Park, and that's halfway up the wall. What a return to Fenway for Verdugo. Two-run home run and an RBI double. Ground ball, a base hit through the right side. 
Judge rounds third, they're waving him home. Here's the throw from O'Neal. He's in there as the ball gets away, and Verdugo goes to second on the throw. Another ribby for Verdugo, and the Yankees are now leading 8-1. to one. What a night for Verdugo in his return to Boston. Alex Verdugo, welcome back to Boston. Three hits, four RBIs, the Verdugo show. It's 8-1 Yanks. Into the bottom of the ninth, it's Eight, one Yanks. 13 times the Red Sox have fan. Very frustrating night. Yankees and out away. Duran off second, two down. One, two, swing and a miss, strike three. Tonkin pounds the glove. Yankees win it, eight, one in Boston. And the New York Yankees are the first team in baseball to 50 wins in 2024. The magical ride rolls on.